The World Test Championship final is the culmination of two years of hard work, preparation and execution as well. For Team India, it's a core group of individuals that have stuck together and overcome the odds down under in Australia, battle the odds to win outside of home but also dominate at home as well. It's been a two year long journey that is now heading to the Rose Bowl in Southampton and what a journey it's been for Team India and New Zealand heading towards this World Test Championship final. Here at Man's Life with me, Sohail Chanduk, we're going to take a look back at the journey and the road to the WTC final and it all started in August 2019 versus the West Indies. India travelled to the Caribbean in August 2019 and it made for quite a comfortable start to the World Test Championship for Team India. It was Bumrah and Ishan Sharma that were the wreckers in chief and helped by an Ajinkya Rahane century, India were on the fast track with a win in the first test. India then carried that confidence into the second test in the Caribbean and won that comfortably by 257 runs. A six-wicket haul for Jaspreet Bumrah, including his maiden test hat-trick and a gritty 100 from Hanuma Vihari, 111 to be exact, gave India a 2-0 win in that series and what a comfortable win it was to set the tone for the rest of the World Test Championship. The attention then turned to South Africa at home in India in October 2019 and India dominated from the very start. Mayank Agarwal with an unbelievable double hundred, also ably supported by Rohit Sharma's twin centuries in each innings and then it was all left to Mohamed Shami who absolutely annihilated the Proteas batting lineup in that first test in Vizag. A win by an innings and 37 was then followed up by another innings victory and this time there was a double century for Rohit Sharma, a hundred for Ajinkya Rahane and it helped set up a win by an innings and 202 runs in the third test. It meant a whitewash for Team India versus the Proteas and India suddenly sat pretty on the WTC standings. After the Proteas were brushed aside, next in line were Bangladesh in November 2019 at home and the juggernaut continued for Team India. Mayank Agarwal got even better, another double century, this time 243, supported by Mohamed Shami again, who was brilliant with the ball, gave India yet another innings victory. So India at this stage was still unbeaten in the World Test Championship and now it was time for the inaugural day-night test on Indian soil at the Eden Gardens and boy did India show up. It was Ishan Sharma and Umesh Yadav who were brilliant with the ball and Virat Kohli of course performed in the pink ball test with a hundred of his own and it meant that Bangladesh were brushed aside inside of four days and it was India that went away with yet another 2-0 victory in the series. This was India getting better and better with every series. So at this stage, India was sitting pretty at the top of the World Test Championship standings, but having been unbeaten, having beaten West Indies, having beaten the Proteas at home and Bangladesh, India were now heading to New Zealand for tougher territory as well. And this was arguably India's biggest test in the World Test Championship. And it didn't quite start on the brightest note. India were bundled out for under 200 in both innings of the first test and it left New Zealand chasing just nine in the fourth innings to dispatch of India in that first test. Much of that work was done by the unbelievable Kiwi pace battery. After losing that first test by 10 wickets, things did get a bit better in the second test in New Zealand and India actually held on to the first innings lead but failed to capitalise from there on and New Zealand came away with another victory, this time by 7 wickets and it meant that they blanked India 2-0 away from home. After being dominated by New Zealand in New Zealand, India had to wait a long time for their next challenge and this was going to be a big one, down under versus Australia and they had to wait from Feb to December 2020. But the tour started in disastrous fashion in Adelaide. India was skittled out for 36 embarrassingly and ended up losing that first test by 8 wickets and that also meant that Virat Kohli was flying home for the birth of his child after that first test. After being bundled out in Adelaide for 36, India travelled to the Boxing Day test at the MCG, arguably the biggest spectacle in the Australian cricketing summer and they went there without speedster Shami, without captain Kohli and that was the time when the stand-in skipper Jinkya Rahane stood up with a fabulous 100 at the MCG, also ably backed by the entire bowling unit to give India a phenomenal win and level the series up at 1-1. 
After India, with their backs against the wall, performed at the MCG and drew level in the series, India travelled to Sydney for what was one of the most remarkable draws and that was a heist by a team India that were walking wounded. Ashwin and Hanuma Vihari were gritty with their never-say-die attitude. Rishabh Pant gave us those heroics that each and every one will remember to this day as well. And it meant that India pulled off a draw on a test that Australia should have won. And suddenly, it meant that everything was to play for heading to the Gabba. From what was a gritty draw at the SCG to what was undeniably one of India's greatest test victories away from home, this was a test for the ages. This was a young, depleted, fearless Team India that had their backs against the wall, that were the underdogs coming into this test at the Gabba, the fortress of Team Australia. But it was Washington Sundar, Shardul Thakur, Shubman Gill and a Rishabh Pant masterclass that gave India perhaps the biggest win in the history of Indian cricket up against the mighty Aussies and gave India the series victory without the big names of Virat Kohli, without Mohamed Shami and without several others in that squad. And what a win it was. It also set India up for the next challenge that they had, which was England playing at home. After the heroics down under, India were riding a wave of confidence and they took on England next at home in Feb 2021 but lost the first test in Chennai thanks to an incredible 227 by the England skipper Joe Root. And suddenly, this meant there was pressure on Team India as they had to win two of the remaining three test matches to make their way into the World Test Championship final. After the shock loss of the first test in Chennai, the pitch was different for test number two at the Chepok and it meant that India delivered a different result as well. A superb 100 in difficult conditions from Rohit Sharma backed by Pfeiffer's for both Ashwin and also debutant Aksar Patel meant that it gave India a 317 run victory and leveled the series at 1-1. But what it also did was set the wheels in motion for the rest of the series. Over to Ahmedabad for the third test and by this stage it seemed like England had no idea of how to combat the turning tracks or the guile of Aksar Patel as well. And in a low scoring test, Aksar Patel at home in Ahmedabad for the first time picked up 11 wickets and India went on to win the test by 10 wickets and give themselves a 2-1 lead heading into the final test with one foot already in the World Test Championship final. Over to the final test in Ahmedabad and this time India limited England to just 205 but it wasn't done just yet. England had India on the ropes at 140 odd for 6 and suddenly it was Rishabh Pant yet again with his back against the wall that produced the goods with Washington Sundar alongside as well. Rishabh Pant got himself a fabulous 100 but Washington Sundar was left stranded agonizingly close to his maiden test 100. Stranded on 96 but it paved the way for India to clinch the match and the series. India had a lead of 160 but then skittled England out thanks to, of course, Aksar Patel and Ravi Chandan Ashwin. This meant that India came away with a series win and booked their spot in the World Test Championship final. The series win versus England gave India the spot that they wanted, but it also meant that they'd beaten England at home. They'd beaten the Proteas at home. They'd beaten the West Indies in the Caribbean. They'd beaten Australia in Australia and Bangladesh at home as well. But the one side that they haven't quite conquered along the way is New Zealand. The one side that they will be taking on on the 18th of June in the World Test Championship final at the Rose Bowl in Southampton. Given what we've seen from this team India though, given what we've seen with the fearlessness, the resilience of this side, we do know that they have what it takes to come back from the brink, to have their backs against the wall and still fight back. And that's why this World Test Championship final is going to be a special one to watch. Hope you've enjoyed this road to the final for Team India with me, Sohail Chandok, right here for Man's Life. And make sure you continue to head across to manslife.in for all the best content in the world of auto, sport, lifestyle and entertainment.